Hello dear viewers, a very warm welcome to PC Instruments. My name is Lucas Ludwig and I would like to print you today the strain gauge of the PCE DDM series. The DDM PCE series, as I said, is a strain gauge with the help of shackles, for example, hung onto a crane. The strain gauge we deliver in a nice carryable case. with its two shackles and also with a special series the display unit. The strain gauge itself we have from 3 tons and up to 50 tons. The 50 ton one is naturally not delivered in a carrying case. We have here for the mobile usage for one the weight plus the 5 kilo for the shackle. Whereas here, with this shackle, we are around 130 kilos. With the external display unit, we also have a RS-232 interface, which makes it possible to connect to a computer. The technical data of the strange gauge are simple. We have here an aluminium body, which allows a mobile usage. It is operated with batteries, simple AA commercial batteries, so that changing is relatively cheap. We have here a very good readable display, which has a digit height of 22 millimeters. The distance of the set, which has the mobile display unit, is around 80 meters high view. With the batteries, I can work up to 50 hours. The measuring exactness of the strange gauge is around 0.1% of the maximal load. The terror area of the strange gauge is 20% of the maximal load. A special function of the strain gauge is the peak hold function. Here the gauge scans with 2.5 Hz. Now I would like to show you with the strain gauge of the PCDDM series the usage. First of all we check the strain gauge of damage. Here it is very important if small cracks or a deformation of the body is apparent. Next we put the appropriate batteries into it. Those are normal commercial A batteries so we have no problem with the supply. The shackles are also to be checked of damage and then are fixed to the strange gauge. The safety splint prevents the nut from becoming loose. This we do with the other shackle too before we can use the strain gauge. Now we do a short function test where we simply start the device and wait until it has booted. In the display you can then see a stable node and we know the strange gauge is ready to use. Because of the compact measurements of the strain gauge the shackles are chosen small. Here we have the problem to attach the shackle onto the hook. For this we use in this case the round slings. By the round slings it is to observe that they are not twisted and that the seam is placed properly. Now we bring the strain gauge to pull and observe the round slings as well as the shackles. Important is here that they are not twisted because on the strain gauge we do not have a roll that this can compensate. The strain gauge gives me the possibility to show different measuring units for one that are kilogram, tons, newton or pounds. This I can use the new knit button comfortably switch back and forth and the appropriate for my conditions choose. In my case I choose naturally kilograms. The power generator adds its own weight and needs some strength from me. Now the generator is swinging free, I try to stop a turn onto the strain gauge. With the additional display makes it possible for me to read the strain gauge from a distance as I explained at the beginning that this display has a RS-232 interface which makes it possible to connect to a computer. With the external display, it is also possible for me to tarot the weight. 
That means I can see a gross and net weight. Further information to the PCDDM series you can find on our internet site www.pc-instruments.com. Thank you for watching.